Hello, Hiram. Yeah. Good to be here. Thank you. Yeah. You took all of that in, didn't you? Mm. And it's a little tricky so, now to say, now I want to talk about this because it sounds like Abraham just wants to talk about the air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine a seminar? Someone sits down, a very vivid question, we just point toward the air conditioner. And then, Come on up. And then they say something, we just point toward the air conditioner. <laughs> Come on up and just point toward the air conditioner. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll save your money and just point toward the air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I have a question I remember from uh, Denver when I was you talk about our aim uh, our own Abraham and that we all all have our own guidance and yeah. we have in the non-physical part of us in the physical part yeah and it's all connected yeah collected it's it's a part of of all of who we are and for myself, I have an experience um, when I do meditation that someone speaks through me. Yeah. And a voice came in and yeah. changing, and I feel uh, just the words coming. So I want to say to you, that's the same as watching the movie. In that case, it's more like listening to the story. But that's what that is. Yeah. Mm. So can you expand more about uh, our own Abraham, our own guidance? we started today by talking about you and you we don't want the you to disappear we want the you to allow more of the you to be present in other words think in terms of your total self or the whole of you you came knowing that you would experience contrast and that's not really the whole of you experiencing the contrast because your inner being doesn't experience the contrast but right away you launched the rocket and now your inner being is involved we know what you're getting at you want to know so what's this non-physical energy and you acknowledge the Abraham that is flowing through Esther and now you're having your personal experience where you are quieting your mind and allowing your vibration to rise and actually receiving impulses of thought and impulses of conversation and you want to know who that is and we want to ask you not to try to quantify it because it digs up all kinds of expectations that are not helpful Esther began when she was at the stage that you're at these were the segments that she offered then Abraham I want to speak clearly your words and what she meant by that is I don't want any clutter and I don't want any of my questions or negative expectations or worries to be part of this I just want to speak clearly your words and so that's a helpful thing to just acknowledge when you're there also and this is the most important thing don't try to make it happen just let it happen <laughs> that's something mm. just let it happen just let it happen just let it happen and here's a key word Oh, this is so helpful it would have helped Esther so much if she had known this back then it worked out all right but <laughs> when you're letting it happen it feels so good when you're trying to get it or trying to hear it or trying to speak it or when there's that angst within you then it doesn't feel good then it feels like a tension and you know the difference sometimes you just let it flow and sometimes you don't is there someone present with you while you're doing it or is it just you somebody else there you have a friend in the room with you while the thoughts are coming and you're speaking um, then record it record it you follow <sighs> Esther had the experience of Jerry Jerry was full of the questions and Esther's mind was clear Esther was just living happily ever after it was really easy for Esther to quiet her mind it had never been that active In the sense that she wasn't trying to boss anybody around she wasn't trying to make anything happen she was a straight-a student she was loving life she was very intelligent she just wasn't trying to change the world she wasn't interested in politics she wasn't interested in religion she wasn't interested in what her neighbors were doing she wasn't worried about what was going on in the world she was focused upon living happily ever after 
She was living happily ever after us. What are we going to do today? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? So she was already in that place. But most people are not quite in that place. And so it's about getting in that place and then as it flows, record it so that you can listen to it later with your fuller combined mind. Does that make sense? Mm. Are we getting to what you're reaching for? Yeah, I feel it, you know, and the creation, I know the inside creating the outside, the feeling of um, just be relaxed in it and just letting it, like I said, just letting it be. Letting and accepting that the creation has already happened. Mm -hmm. Imagine yourself being a Hollywood movie maker and you hired a director and you found a script the producer is in place and you gathered all the actors and they shot the movie and the editor edited the movie and now it's on a big roll and you're sitting to watch it so it's all done now you're just going to watch the movie well that editor is not just going to watch the movie he's going to analyze every part of it he's going to be the only one in the room ever that doesn't enjoy the movie but we want you to enjoy the movie that you've made because your inner being is your production staff the law of attraction has gathered it all together the cooperative components have all been gathered with every intention that you've ever held as being a powerful nuanced way that it all came about so now you can there's that trust word again you can trust that if you can accomplish that quieted mind that then you can just let the movie play and Esther got so she knew when it was time she could tell she could tell when it was time she could tell when the movie was ready to play now it's easy she just stands over there quiets her mind listens to the air conditioner seriously <laughs> allows her vibration to rise and then off we go good enough yes thank you so much Hello, this is a good time for a segment of the session. <laughs>